another short and sweet where the, this time, sample and reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that I think John Wadsworth shared this with us. You think, okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Pretty, it, pretty sure, no name on it. Can't 100% be confirmed, but <laughs> that's fine. This is a 1979 Eagle Rare 101 Ooh. proof. So yeah. Chad, everyone should go out to the store and buy one of these right now. Yeah, they come in this sample bottle. Just like we did, no. I think, you know, the fun thing about this is just to share what things tasted like from yesteryear. That's um, right. Now, 1979, so it's older than both of us. It is, and it's got Barely smashing- older than you. Hey, it's got a Smashing Pumpkin song named after uh. it, which is nice. You know, when we started Short and Sweets, we kind of started with some reviews of some vintage samples that we have, and mm -hmm. we haven't done one in a while, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, to get back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> such caramely goodness. If you've ever heard us describe a nose- Vintage funk? As vintage -y, it's what this is. It just <gasps> doesn't smell like anything that's on the market today. They don't make it like this today. Mm. Yeah, caramel, savory kind of mixture, just- a Slight mustiness, yeah, but like in a in good way. in a good way. way. Could be walking to like an antique shop or something, but it smells kind of homey. Yeah, you know you're um, gonna find something good there. Yeah, again, not trying to like make everybody have FOMO, but I think the benefit to tasting through stuff like this is anytime you go to a tasting bar or to a store or a restaurant or bar where you have access to get a sample vintage pour for not a bad price, it's worth trying just to understand the difference of what was offered and what's yeah. offered today. I think it's worth it. You know, caveat, not always. Not, not always. all vintage whiskey is good, but but it's worth the experience. Uh, when, it's, when it's vetted, you know, you go sure. to a, a place that that's their specialty and it's vetted, then, mm. then yeah. But, I'm not right. waiting anymore. Let's dive into your own. That oh. is way more cherry hey. and slightly more herbal than I was expecting based on the nose. Wow. And that one-on-one proof is doing its job. I have to lose this. Yeah, I know. This, uh, this it's gonna make me a little warm. I need another sip. Wow. It's so much more herbal cherry like than I was expecting. Well, it is Buffalo Trace, which uh, I know, very has often that. has that cherry note or, or that sort of grapeish note, kind the, of depending on who you ask. The texture on this is mm -hmm. the star, mm -hmm. I think. I mean, wow, is it buttery. It is cut down. Water has been added to this. Cut it down to 101 proof, but man, yes, the mouthfeel is holding up like it is a uh, uncut, unfiltered, straight from the barrel. Substantial amount, I think, of oak. Again, with that cherry, a slight herbal tea note. This is not what Eco Rare tastes like now. This is more like we're tasting a BTAC. Uh, so I was about to say, like the this reminds me a little bit more of the Double Eagle Very Rare that we tasted. Not oh. quite. I mean, it's obviously not the vintage exactly, funk, and right. we've only had that once, and right. then we've only had this one, so it didn't have that vintage funk. But some of the notes and the texture of this one are reminding me more of the Double Eagle Very Rare that yeah. we were so fortunate to taste while we were in London at Buffalo Trace. Wow. Hmm. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit with this for a minute. It is getting warm in here. It is. But you know what? I love this sweatshirt. And speaking of sweatshirts, I have something germane to that topic. Do Sarah. you? You uh, just wanted to use that. It's our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. Right now, we have a 24-hour flash sale for our collegiate uh, hoodies, sweat sweatshirts, and hoodies. Mine is just a sweatshirt, sans hoodie. Yours is a hoodie w with hoodie. Yeah, with uh, hoodie. <laughs> we have a couple different options on there, but all the collegiates are 15% off. All our collegiates, yeah. For, 24 uh, hours 24 only. 24 hours uh, from the publishing of this video, but also uh, all of our glassware, including the Glen Cairns that we're drinking from, our mini Glens and our Copitas and Rocks glasses, these water glasses that you see over here, our Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup, all of our candles and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month, and that is where we regularly give out discounts on this merch depending on your tier, access to our exclusive barrel picks, after the episode content, and more. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Third sip. Third sip. I could just nose this all day. <sighs> it's just so different. It has some similar DNA to the Eagle Rare 17 of mm -hmm. 2023, yeah. which was our, since we've been tasting them, which has been since 2020, on a regular basis has been our favorite Eagle Rare 17 mm -hmm. uh, of our tenure, I guess you could say. Tenure. But this has more, obviously it has more vintage. Yeah, we just feel. If you like that vintage equality, that's nice. But that really puts points on the board for me. It, it's just, and, it, and it's kind of hard to describe. And this is why we say, if you are a bourbon enthusiast, if you know, and you probably are if you're watching a channel about bourbon, we really 
want to beat the drum of try some good vintage whiskeys because it is a completely different category right. than modern day. Big asterisk there, right? We want you to Again, do it. Have it vetted. Yeah, and a you know from a source that has been vetted, so you're not disappointed because some things don't. They get worse sometimes, and we don't want you to spend, you know, an arm. Or they weren't that great to begin with. Right. We don't <laughs> want you to spend too much money going after vintage to try, but like Revival Spirits in Covington do, they do what they call a five dollar hauler, which is a vintage pour for five dollars. Um, they change it weekly, I believe, or maybe even daily. I'm not sure. Just in South Suburban and Lexington and Louisville, we also have a great tasting bar and great deals with some vintage pours on there too. Uh, yeah. So it's just kind of got to keep an eye out for them and take mm -hmm. the opportunity when it falls in your lap. Not necessarily go after one tomorrow and just pick whichever one you can find right we say shop around get get your yeah. price right but um chad i think what's interesting about this is that if we ever do a then versus now episode again if we ever get enough of them together we can definitely taste this eagle rare versus today's well eagle rare. yeah and you don't think so well i just remember kind of our caveat with that is we're not trying to compare vintage to modern we're just trying mm. to compare years ago modern to current day modern, you know, okay, not not that okay. much of a gap. Cause obviously vintage versus today. You is, say obviously, but then we just said it doesn't always equal better. I know, but the things that people share with us, like our friends have shared, that have vetted. Yeah. Um, and look at the specs, 10, 10 years, years. So is it normally rare? 101 proof. Not 90. Yeah. Uh, and then from 1979. Doesn't automatically mean it's gonna be good, but they've got a good track record. Well, I think it's worth it just to compare the differences between them. Not yes. not to necessarily say, oh, which one's better, it's how are they different? <laughs> I'd how, go out and buy the 1979 first. How, is it, how has it changed since then? I think that's yeah. worth talking about. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Mm, but this, I mean, wow. Please, please wow. sponge to have had it. Oh. I'm gonna savor my last sip off camera. Wow, and we got more still. So that's awesome. We do. Thank you so much again to John for, <sighs> for John question mark for John providing question mark? Uh, this sample to us. We <laughs> obviously are going to enjoy it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you know what you can do. You can do so. We we would love it if you did by mm -hmm. clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope you hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, John. Until next time, drink more bourbon.